when the when the accident happened back on 311, uh, the the uranium core had all the fission products in it from operations, you know, highly radioactive materials, iodine, cesium, strontium, uh, plutonium as well. Uh, but plutonium doesn't move much. But um, when it melted, it all mixed up and is very, and then it came out on the floor and in the sort of like lava out of a volcano, uh, that kind of hot. Uh, and then it, it it moved and flowed sideways. Uh, but inside were all these fission products. And as the, some of the steel melted around it, the concrete degraded, uh, all the other materials, melted wires, melted lead, they all mix together with the radioactive materials. So the cesium and the strontium. So it has a high gamma field that's like x-rays. So people can't go in there. So we have to do it remotely. Um, the radiation levels are, are much too high for, for real people to go inside. So it's gonna take time to develop the investigative robots to go in and take more samples, and then even more time yet to, do, to have the, the muscle robots, ones that can actually go with cutters and cut pieces and pick up pieces of debris and put it in special engineered canisters. And then you have a system to bring out these canisters that will weigh several hundred kilograms, but there'll be thousands of these canisters uh, but they'll be highly radioactive. The, the goal is to remove the highly radioactive material known as core debris that's all on the floor in those highly contaminated buildings. You need to remove that and put it into engineered canisters, probably stainless steel canisters, uh, a half a meter in diameter and a couple meters tall. Uh, and put those in storage, right? That, that is the long-term goal. How long is it gonna to take to do it? I don't know. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take decades, two decades, three decades, four decades. You know, the technology exists. You know, so this is a very significant step to actually retrieve material from inside and bring it out. Uh, they've had, um, you know, good success with putting their little robots in and taking pictures and, and doing that. And, and that's been necessary, uh, but we, you know, we need to continue on because the main task lies ahead to remove, you know, thousands of tons of this highly contaminated material robotically inside. Um, so um, it, it, it's gonna take, hundreds of samples like this, uh, but the first one is the most important. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.